Windows 11 has been released. The good thing is that the Windows 10 Pro key also worked for the Windows 11 Pro version. So buy a key for $12.50 only at my website and decide for yourself which version you would like to use. And if you like my content, then please consider subscribing since apparently 94% of all the views are from non-subscribers. Welcome to the last part of this tutorial, Game Changing Add-ons Part 8. These are absolutely recommended uh, mods which looks fantastic. Uh, and if you do have the minimum sister requirements, so uh, you can find those if you scroll all the way to the top over here, then you should be fine by installing these. So I would say uh, please follow me along and install these mods because they absolutely look fantastic. So again, for the last time, let's track everything um, together. The two windows, the mods, of course, and our fantastic mod organizer. So the first mod we're going to install is JK Skyrim All-in-One Overhaul. I think JK's uh, cities and villages are so well done and also lore friendly because a lot of overhauls of cities and all are not necessarily that lore friendly, but JK ones definitely are. So I would recommend downloading the all in one file from JK Skyrim. Once you've done that, you can um, uh, add it to my organizer. For now, of course, make a folder add ons, the last folder, and JK Skyrim all in one. Click manual. Press OK, then activate that mod. In some rare cases, JK Skyrim is causing a crash. For me, for Skyrim VR, it's causing a crash. I haven't seen it being done yet in Skyrim Special Edition. But um, yeah, if you're going to test your game one more time after this part, it would be, and it crashes, then it would be a good practice to first deselect JK Skyrim to see that your game actually works. And then, yeah, you can pretty much uh, Try a conclusion that it is JK Skyrim. But for me, for special edition, not VR, for special edition, JK Skyrim on one overall ran fine. Then here, a super high quality texture pack, either the Skyrim 2020 Parallax by Fisher or the Clever Sharps all in one. Um, the Parallax textures look fantastic, but you re it requires some extra instructions and also it requires some patch files for the mods we have installed so far. So that's why. Yeah, if you really want that, sure, do it because it's a fantastic looking mod. But for ease, I would select the Clever Sharps on one because they're also very, very high quality. Um, even on the screenshots, it doesn't do justice. In, in, in the game itself, the quality is way, way better in my opinion. And that's very strange to say that from screenshots, but uh, I think it's a fantastic mod. So download the Clever Sharp on one 4K pack if you want to follow along with me. And then um, I would say, let's see. Yeah, let, let's first do this. So the Clever Sharp all in one. It's a very large mod, by the way. 10 gigabytes. It's almost the same size as freaking Skyrim Special Edition itself. And this also uh, takes the longest for install. So um, yeah, download it, install it, and let's wait. Then we have this options form. Um, yeah, you can select everything if you like because I think everything looks amazing with Clever Sharp. All right, and let's see. Um, we do have the Ash Ball already, so you don't need to check it um, because it's already installed. And yeah, that's it. Um, there is one of these locations which apparently overrides the mountains, but we can fix that later. And I tried to figure out which one it is. But I wasn't successful in figuring it out. So yeah, for that we need to do some manual stuff uh, in order to fix this. But for now, select everything you like and then click on install. By the way, this is uh, your preference. If you prefer some other city mods maybe or some other overhauls, then feel free to select what you prefer. And let's wait because this is going to take a little while. All right, once that finally finished um, installing, activate the mod, of course. 
Oh, before I forget, I do record this at the end of the tutorial because I completely forgot to do this step, the Clever Sharf uh, Mountain Removal. Um, to do that, because I just jumped into the game, I did notice that the mountains weren't changed, but that was because we forgot to do this step. So, to do that, or at least you you see this right now in time, but I forgot to do the step. So, open up the Clever Sharf Texture Pack, double click on it, then go to the File Tree. Go to textures, go to landscape, and you can delete the mountains folder. Then if you do that, we still have, um, yeah, our wonderful mountains. So we continue now with the rest of the tutorial. And then let's see, then we have the most beautiful um, outdoor overhauls when it comes to uh, forest grass and, uh, well, you know what, let's just open the two months. Folkfanger and Origins of Forest. The best combination out there. These wonderful grass types that Folk Fanger gives you are just just too beautiful to miss out in my opinion. So Folk Fanger, download it. It just well, download the let's see. There is a new version. Didn't I install this one? Apparently not. Let's uh, let's find it out. Folk Fanger. Oh, I do it. I actually have the latest version. So download the latest version and just install it like that all right then activate folk vanger yes um and the last mod is origins of forest which also has some fantastic realistic forest um i don't know what this weird snoop dog creature is doing here by the way creature i mean this this uh dressed up in an eastern bunny suit super weird because it doesn't really fit uh with the beauty of this mod, but hey, trust me, it's a fantastic mod. Um, so click on files. Um, there are a couple of tastes in this. I used to pick the less saturated version, but I actually prefer the original one, which is not oversaturated, even not for our realistic preset. So pick that one. It looks a lot more, yeah, brighter. It's maybe a bad word, but uh, just vivid and nice. It's, it's not too overdone. So press okay. And then we're done. And that's it for this tutorial. So there are a couple of things I would like to point out. Um, well, no, that's not it. We need to do some more. We need to uh, make sure Steam does not perform any updates anymore. Uh, the reason for that is that if, if, if Steam or Bethesda updates the game, Skyrim Script Extender and some other potential mods do not work anymore. And for that, you need to wait usually a day or two until those mods are being updated. And that's very annoying and that's not something we want. So we want to disable this from happening from now on. To do that, go to your Steam library, go to your Skyrim Special Edition here, go to Properties, then go to Updates and click on this drop down menu and select only update this game and I launch it. Well, you might think, okay, what if we launch it then? The game we're going to launch with Steam is not the same as Skyrim Script Extender. If we would launch it with Steam, we would launch it with, Sky with this one, Skyrim Special Edition or the launcher. Even while you do that, the mods will not work since you will get a vanilla Skyrim, uh, pretty much. You need the SKSC loader. So that's a pretty good um, safe way of preventing the game does not update anymore. If you want to have an extra security thing in that, there is a, I thought I had a link in here as a fail safe or not. I sh thought I had, I, there was also another option I found on Reddit. Reddit. But hey, it's okay for now. Um, let's do it. Make sure you set this because sometimes Bethesda will do some minor changes, especially with their new version of Skyrim, at least. Uh, for the next gen, they're also probably going to push some updates. So make sure you have this set. Then uh, for the one last test, before you do that, please reboot your PC for once because um, I, I know especially uh, some mods in the later sections um, can cause some issues if you do not do that strangely enough, even while it is not necessarily needed. Just make sure that you reboot your PC just once more. And then that's it. Um, there is one thing I would like to point out uh, until we finally jump in game. Join our Discord. On the Discord here, you are. Uh, we have over, I think, almost 6,000 members right now. We have over many uh, channels here where you can ask your questions if there was something which you, yeah, which which was not working or whatever. 
Um, and if there is a link broken for some reason for a mod, then just request it here at an example, get your missing Skyrim mods. So here you can have an example, some discussions about the game and probably a lot of questions. People ask all kinds of questions here. And the fu most fun thing you might want to join is for sharing screenshots, because I think that's uh, very nice that people share the screenshots of the end result. So please do that. Once you've finished everything, join our Discord and start posting your screenshots here. I'm curious how your Skyrim Special Edition looks. And that's the end. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to jump into the game with you, don't worry. So if you liked it, then, and if you want to support me, um, the best thing you can do if you don't want to uh, donate is please subscribe to me on YouTube. And to do that is by going to one of my videos here. And then from there, please subscribe. And if you really, really like the tutorial and you would like to spend a dollar or something as a donation, that's fantastically appreciated. You can do it here with the PayPal button, but don't feel, um, it's it's not uh, of course mandatory it's completely voluntary so that's up to you but uh yeah it would help me out big time if you would subscribe on my youtube channel so that's it for the tutorial i think it is finally time to jump into the game and to see what we have achieved so welcome in game for the last time um something i can help we're going to now test everything here in game with Tokata. Um, Still here. Can you wait here, please? Because you're constantly you go on ahead. babbling uh, through my conversation. But as you can see here, the Folk Fanger and Origins of Forest mod really, really already makes a huge impact. Um, and it looks great. So I would recommend what I recommend you to do is type in T Detects and TGM. So we will not get attacked by those guys or any danger in general. But as you can see here, how great everything looks now. Also here, the Majestic Mountains Dark Side. Um, let's type in TCL. Or you know what? Let's go to the most um, demanding areas. TMM1 for all map markers. Around Falkworth here. There's a lot of nice green nature here as well. And I would like to show you a little bit what you can do with the weather effects to show you how to uh, play with weather and time to have uh, fantastic looks, to have different kind of looks. I think now we have somewhat of cloudy weather. But yeah, look how great everything is with, uh, with the light, light thing. And another uh, important console command you can use is the set game hour to change the time. So if we would change it to 12, it will be... 12 around afternoon which is this right now if you make it let's say 8 in the morning we will have a completely different look because the sun is rising from there and the same applies for night so if we would type in 1 a.m an example we will have night so you can create different atmospheres with time um so that's what you can use so let's leave it to 12 to uh the sun at the highest point and if you go to magic with the weather control stuff, if you favorite them, you can. Let's see why it's not working. Oh, favorites. You can play around with them. So, an example if you want cloudy skies, uh, we can cast it. And as you can see, the weather turns cloudy. And this gives a completely different look to the game when it comes to lighting and um, that kind of stuff. So, as you can see here, it looks fantastic in my opinion. The God ones like us. Very, very nice. Also, if we want rainy skies, we can have that. And maybe let's travel to Riften because Riften also looks very, very nice. And let's travel to the, where shall we travel to? Here, it's nice. The Forest of Riften. These are the most demanding areas, but I have an RTX 3080, so I don't really care much about uh, all any mod I throw at, at my rig. It can handle it just perfectly fine. So here are the Forests of Riften, as you can see here. Now with light rain. And let's see if we have clear skies here. It is now 3.49 p.m. So here, this grass from Folkfanger it looks just fantastic in my opinion. Don't you agree? Very, very uh, high quality and very nice grass. So 
I would say just experiment a little bit here with um, with these areas. You have um, Riften and and uh, Falkreath. I think those are very nice. But also an example, if we would go to a more um, yeah abandoned place like Everstad, that's also a really nice place to check check things out. I really love to just hang here around in uh, Everstad. Because it looks great with the mountains, you can check the majestic mountains effects. Let's um, set the game time a little bit. Yeah, to the afternoon. So here, look how fantastic majestic mountains look. And here you can also check texture quality of the stones. Here you have the horse texture quality, which you can check. Um, you have this bridge here with the water effects, which look really, really great. So it's also a great place to check here. So. An example if we check cloudy weather. It should go from here to uh, cloudy weather. Or else you can wait for an hour. I said cloudy weather, right? Yeah, cloudy skies. Why do I not have cloudy skies? But yeah, anyway, you get the idea, right? So here you can test multiple things. Also here, look how great these stone walls from Clever Sharf look. In my opinion, just the best texture pack you can install. Riverwood is also a very nice area to test things. So yeah, I would say just mess around with time and um, weather effects to get different kinds of looks. Example here you have this and here you can see all the things which have been added by JK's white run all these add-ons also in Riverwood and um, yeah I mean look how great this looks with um, with the water here let's make it 2 p.m. oh this is very misty now now it's more cloudy I hope So yeah, um, here also very high quality textures, also from the targets. So um, yeah, if you would run into the forests here, you can see all these three objects, the 3D plants. I think around Riverwood is a very nice area to test pretty much everything uh, of the cool mod. So these nice walls, the HD Ivy, these 3D plants. Um, also here you have the folk finger grass and the origins of forest grass and it really really adds up to the immersion of the game in my opinion so yeah here uh, if you go around riverwood you have a really nice area here also this thick uh crow alley here with the high quality majestic mountains very nice area and it looks nothing like the vanilla game right Nothing like the vanilla game. Also here you have this 3, which is added by 3D threes and plants. So this area is a really, really nice area to check around. Um, to see that all your mods have been fixed correctly. So, um, yeah, I would say that's, that's it. What I have to tell you guys. I want to thank you for following the tutorial. I hope that I speak with you on... Uh, on Discord, hopefully, because it's e the easiest for me to manage. But also, feel free to leave a comment on YouTube. I will read everything. Um, I, I try to comment on most of the of the replies, but uh, if I do, if you don't get an answer, feel free to tag me in Discord. And I want to thank you for following my tutorial. I hope you will enjoy your Skyrim. Now, for uh, ten years of modding, I think this is the best look we can get to the game. And yeah, I would say subscribe to my YouTube channel and maybe I'll see you at one of my next videos. So, thank you, take care, see you, bye-bye.